Hi folks, and welcome back to part 8 of our XCOM 2 Let's Play campaign. I've been adjusting the squad a little bit uh, between these two sessions, and I've taken out Daniel because I'm retraining him. I'm not happy with the snapshot perk that he's got. I have found out that it is by design, and it's designed to make your sniper quite mobile, but not a long range. And I specifically want Daniel to be a long range crit style sniper so we're gonna we're gonna retrain him he's got 10 days to go in the awc we've also i'll wait until after this chat we're picking up a steady stream of communications coming from a hidden alien comm relay uploading data to the advent network from this region we have to take advantage of every opportunity to disrupt the aliens progress on their latest operation so we're moving in to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer don't leave any hostiles standing. Okay, yeah, we've also welcoming back Mora, which is fantastic. So happy to have her back in the gang. And that means we've got a grenadier on this mission. I've equipped her with a gas grenade and two frag grenades. So let's get stuck in. The only other thing that I changed was giving return fire to Sinead. She's going to be built as a gunslinger style sharpshooter. Menace 1-5, the communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Okay, there's a pod of three there. One of them had five hit points. I didn't catch the other two. We're starting in concealment, which is great news. And the relay, there's only six health on it. And we can do a lovely blow up this wall and shoot it from range, which is great. So we've only got eight turns to get there, but it's not too far and we can take it down from range once we get into position up that way. So let's start by maybe spreading the squad slightly. I'd like to take this roof at least with some people. We need to get some better eyes on the situation though. I wanna see if there's anything around here really. move up. Alright, nothing so far. Good sign. That means we can start moving up a bit more aggressively with the rest of the squad. Got it covered. Get the sniper on the roof. Rowing out. Move up please people. Actually Sarah I think I want you down here somewhere maybe. Hmm There's not, not a lot of cover up here, sadly, that we can get to this turn. So, Sergei, you move over there. Blue, I want you up on the roof. It's nice to have our medic in protection. There's heavy cover here. Yeah, Sarah up there too, please. Eight turns. So, seven turns now. It's not many, is it, really? <laughs> but at least we're moving up quickly. If we... The less contact we get early, the quicker we can make progress. But of course, it does mean we have to deal with all those pods that we haven't yet activated later on. It all balances out, I guess. Alright, surely this will trigger something. Nope. Alright, there was a pod over there, but where are the others? There might be one behind the objective that sometimes happens on these sorts of missions there could be one over in this sort of unex uncovered area but it, it's pretty unusual to see them over in that kind of area it's usually there's usually a pod fairly quickly on the, on the route to your objective and then another one or two closer to the the uh, objective itself all right keep moving up Scanning. I don't want to leave Sinead all the way back as a traditional sniper because I want to get used to using her as a gunslinger. Quiet. Or... Do you hear something? Alright, I actually couldn't hear Ooh. I think I just I couldn't hear any movement and then after that I heard something a bit unsettling. We'll see 
what that was. I don't want to say anything right now. Schon unterwegs. Ich sehe den Feind. Okay, pod number one. It's a heavy, a trooper by the look of it, and an officer. Oh, and a demolitionist. Okay. I've been trying to work out if these guys have grenades or demolitionists. Let's have a look. Doesn't look like it. Let's zoom in. Aha! Yes, he's got a frag grenade. At least it's not a plasma, which is nice. Hmm. Where are you going to go, Hans? Yeah, we want you in some decent cover. I don't want you to be revealed yet, if at all possible. We should be able to take these three down with the rest of the squad. That would be ideal, of course, because then we can keep Hans in concealment and keep on using him as a scout. The power of that concealment is just so amazing, being able to have the rest of the squad active and have him still concealed. It's the information that it gives us is basically enabling us to clear these levels with a lot less hassle. So I, I really want to continue to take advantage of that. Hmm, what next? Hmm. Yeah, we are a long way away from them still, so we probably do need to move them all up. Got it. Uh, I'd like to keep blue back slightly. <clears throat> it's Dave, Dave is the person that I least want to be harmed because obviously she, they're our medic, so. Got it. Uh, where are, what are we doing? Alright, so don't go too far. I think what we're going to do is initiate the combat on this turn. Uh oh, yeah, I am. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're hearing that, but I'm definitely hearing some some slightly concerning noises on the alien move turn. Yeah, for sure. And there it is again. <laughs> Heading there now. So I th that. And again, I can. I, I know what that is. I'm 100%. I know what that is. I'm not going to give the game away right now, but mm -mm, we've got to be careful <laughs> if it's what I think it is. And it's close. I think that's why we can hear. Rolling. So we want to take we want to take the squad down aggressively if at all possible. It'd be nice if we could just finish them off in one turn. So we'll set some overwatch traps. Maybe a grenade to start things off would be nice. Perhaps actually Oh we've got smoke as well. I must remember that we've got smoke with Mora. That's one of her perks that we've taken. Really important. Yeah, I think gas grenade might be nice. It's going to mean that any of them it doesn't kill will then be poisoned and they will die in the following turn if they've got just a few hit points left. So that should definitely see to that demolitionist. Maybe not the heavy. Get some overwatch set up. Yeah, Sergei overwatch. Overwatch. And we're going to, we're going to initiate with the gas grenade. To Overwatch. Okay. Here we go. Frag out. Uh, that's not a frag, Mora. Never mind. Beautiful. See, it did two points of shredding, even with a gas grenade, which is really nice. Thanks to our. Thanks to our amazing grenade launcher. Oh, dude. Okay, that's awesome. So, one of them's down. The heavy is going to die on there. Oh, here they come! Welcome to Chrysalids, everybody. 
Oh, that familiar roar. It fills me with terror. Get him! Get him! <laughs> nice work, Sinead. Very nice work. Okay, one left. They look like itty bitty cutesy little chrysalids, but I, I'm not going to let that fool me. <laughs> Oh, what? What the hell? What? The, shooting on the on the turns they're activating. I guess that's because they didn't move. Maybe they didn't move because of the gas grenade effect. Um, wow. Well, that's interesting. At least we didn't get hurt from that. That's nice. Hmm. Okay, one of them is on Overwatch. So we're going to need to deal with him before we do any other moving. What do we got here? And we really need to take that chrysalid down. Advent Commissar. Let's take him out with the sniper, hopefully. Come on, Sinead. Ooh, lovely. Target down. Excellent. Now, the other heavy is going to die, so we just need to take down the chrysalid, and then we can start pushing up towards the objective. I wonder where the last pod is, if indeed it is a, the last pod. Maybe up by that objective. Okay, Mora, shotgun looks good on that. Nope. Oh well. Ah, it's so cute and small, it's ridiculous. Let's have a better look at it, actually. Oh, they've just done such a great job with these models. Look how beautiful that thing is. Really nasty looking. And cute at the same time. It's... I'm not looking forward to the big sized versions. Ooh. Still, we do need to take it down this turn. There's no two ways about that. Who have we got? Sarah. I'm a bit wary about moving up too far. There might be another pod back there. I want to. Yeah, let's just go here. Should get a good shot still. Let's see. 87, yep. Oh, four damage. Those things don't count as being flanked because they're they're not designed to take cover. They have uh, they have some inherent defense. Yeah, you can see that minus ten. Oh, he's got executioner available there, so that'll give him a better chance to hit and ten percent crit extra. But I think I might try and take it down with blue actually, just to finish it off. Yeah, we need to. We do need to get kills on her too. All right, great. So now we can. Let's just check it's safe to move Sergey up there. So far, I want to see what we can see with hand. Sadly, we can't move up to that other pillar because it would reveal him because that other guy isn't dead yet. But this should give us a view. No? Okay, so now we can move Sergei up, put him on Overwatch. Nice. He's dead. Unlucky, buddy. Roger. Alright, keep... Checking it out, keep seeing what we can see. There's the target. We've got a view from that post, which is nice. So we can position somebody there next turn, or this turn. There should be a pod probably over the back there, since we haven't seen anything just yet. We'll push up this turn, and we get to shoot down on that objective next turn. Probably blow up the wall, frankly. Then we'll be able to get more people on it. Okay, keep moving up. Sarah, yeah. Getting it done. Sergey, Overwatch. I do want to have some Overwatch just in case that what I assume is a a last pod comes in. Oh, there's not really any good spots for blue. Oh, Dave, where are we going to put you? Uh, do you know what? 
I think I prefer to have the Overwatch. Let's let's just put you there. It, is, the it should be safe because there's no active pods at the moment. And if we do trigger something, we will get... Okay, nothing arrived. We'll get the opportunity to move back on our turn, I was going to say. All right, blow up the wall and destroy the relay. Boom skis. This might reveal something out the back there. No, nothing. Cool. Okay. Well, let's take down the relay. Hmm, who's going to do that? We need to move Dave into cover, so let's get Sarah moved up here. Dave, on you go. Yeah, as I mentioned before, we've got a guaranteed hit on those things. Menace 1 5, we've confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles. Perfect, so we can take our time now. We don't have the countdown ticking anymore, which is great. We'll just put a bunch of people on Overwatch and get ready in case a pod arrives. We can now play it a bit safe. Like move up, take Overwatch shots, move up. Let's see what we can see with hands. Aha! There yeah, they are. DNA. These creatures Ooh. once operating under the guise of Fen Men now show their true form. A purely reptilian species. No reason for them to yes. hide. The aliens don't need an infiltration unit anymore. Yep. Why? Wow, you can see why Thin Men are always so bendy now, I guess. Look at that. Another amazing model. Beautiful. Well, those things can be big trouble, so we really want to make sure we take it down in a quick and aggressive manner. Probably we're going to grenade the wall, grenade the cover down. I'm assuming that it's not on its own. Hmm. Okay, well, we don't really have much else to do this turn, so... Oh no, that's, that's not true. We'll move people up and put Overwatch on. Reload for you, Sergey. Just to get ready. Lovely, here they come. <laughs> Sarah is on it. No hope for that guy. Now, where did. Oh, no. Wow, it's got a proper plasma rifle, so we want to watch out for that. It's got a nasty couple of abilities as well. Ah, oh, It wasn't expecting hands to be there. Stealthed away like that, was it? Well, that's beautiful. He's got a lovely flank shot on there. On the move. Okay, so we really can get a couple of easy flanks on the Viper. So let's prioritize blowing this guy out of cover. I'm finishing him off. Oh, he's down. Beautiful. Oh no, the loot. Huh. What a shame. All right. Yeah, let's run a gun out. Take a nice shot and then we can finish him off with hands. This might take it out, but it's very unlikely. I don't think it can be intended. Beautiful. Here we go. Let's finish it, hands. On a plate for you, buddy. Nice. Is that the end of the mission? Fine, finished it. Status confirmed. Status confirmed. Yeah. Are down and the area is secure. Nice. Oh, that was tight, team. Well played. Promotion as well. Flawless. Oh, that's nice to see. That went pretty well. It was quite controlled. Engaged the pods in a way that I was comfortable with. We weren't in too much trouble at any point there. Then that, that's kind of how I like to see things. 
Yeah, there's a lot of knee slapping going on. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's get back and see who's been promoted. Hands for sure. And look at them all sauntering back. It's only a matter oh, of time from, before we regain control. Apart from Sergei, he's basically just constantly pissed off with everything. It's alright, it keeps him sharp. Alright, nice. So we've got a level with hands, and we're building him as a blade master. So we want to be taking as many perks that are gonna further that goal. Let's have a little look at these. Shadow Strike. I don't really rate this too much. It's it looks good, but you have to bear in mind that you only get to use it when you come out of concealment on that one attack. And that's just not worth it. Lone Wolf, it's a good perk, but ultimately I don't want Hans to be that far away. Even though he can scout really well, I don't like to keep people too far away from the squad. There are gonna be times when he is when he's doing a, a bit of a advanced, like long distance recon, but overall, when you compare those two to Hunter's Instinct, which is amazing, ranged attacks deal against flanked enemies deal plus three damage and sword attacks have a bonus 15% chance to critically hit enemies so it makes him much better doing crits with the sword and it does more damage with the gun as well Sinead's an easy choice lightning hands we're pushing her up the gunslinger route bunch of corpses no loot sadly some chrysalid corpses and a viper nice Autopsies. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. New scientist, Excellent perfect. Work. 14 days now on magnetic weapons. That's really coming down a tree. All right, so everything looks like it's ticking along fine in the base. Oh, a gorilla op. Interesting. It means two things that are good. We can take an extra mission to upgrade our troopers uh, and hopefully it can counter one of these dark events as well. So we could, might get a chance to doubly count to counter two different dark events in one in one kind of round of, um, of guerrilla ops, if you like. So the question is, what do we want to do next? I think we should probably prioritize finishing off collecting these supplies. And I would like to do that Gorilla Ops mission. I want to pass it up. Avenger Plus there'll be some other reward as well. Okay, Midnight Raids is now complete. Well, that's good news because that's the one that I feel much less distressed about. Uh, cost of recruits by 100% increase. We can deal with that for a month. We've got a fair amount of people getting trained up. Uh, our wounded soldier count isn't too high. Okay, so the dark events, that should in theory mean that the Gorilla Ops counters that last hidden event. All right, 62 supplies, oh, better than nothing. Right, I think black market next, yeah. We've only got 81 supplies at the moment. We can sell a bunch of stuff here. Avenger plotting new course. We should get this happening before another mission. Ah, uh, more Avatar. Commander, if we want to set back the aliens' Ooh. work on the Avatar project. We should hit market Thanks, Bradford. As soon as possible. Great. Okay, what's good about the black market is you can both buy and sell things here. You buy things with Intel, which is a, a resource that's quite thin on the ground, so that's a bit of a shame. But uh, you can also sell stuff which you get supplies for. And since we've had a couple of missions where we've had quite a lot of corpses and stuff, we should be able to sell a few things here. All right, let's have a look at the buy... Valerian crystals, that's nice to know we can get some of those. Expanded magazine, I'd like to get one of those. But 30 intel, and it's only like the, the level 1 magazine. 
got 211 in total at the moment, quite a lot really. PCS emergency life support, wow. I don't know what that is. I've never come across that. It's from the new Long War pack. So I'm going to just take a quick look. Uh, bear with me, I'll be right back. Okay, so it looks like there's really not that much information out there on these new PCS chips that are available from the Long War pack. So, Market is open. I think, which I'm surprised at actually, and I'm probably going to start collecting information. And I'll share it up on Reddit and stuff as we go forward. I am just going to buy this because it's a new, it's a new PCS chip. It sounds amazing, emergency life support. It's probably going to mean that one of our troops when they get critically wounded and much less likely to die. Uh, what else we got though? Scientists. Yeah, there's nothing else that I really want to buy here. And for 40 Intel, I think it's better than the magazine. I only really want to buy one thing from here because of our, I want to make sure we've still got a big stock of Intel. Yeah, that expanded magazine isn't as good as the advanced or superior version. Let's grab that. Wicked. Okay, so selling things. That's that's our assault rifle that we haven't been using too much recently. Probably better take that out soon actually on another mission. Alien alloys, lovely. Don't want to sell too many of those. Okay, you can see here these little exclamation points. That is one of the awesome mods that we've got installed. I've, I really recommend this. You'll be able to find the details down in the in the description below. And I find this so helpful because it tells us how not only what research that these are used for, but how many that we need for that particular research. And I've come a cropper in the past a few times by selling too much stuff. So that's going to really help us avoid that. It only tells you the next step research. So, you know, you can still make a mistake if you sell all but three trooper corpses for example and then there's something else further down the line that you do need the trooper corpses for but it's definitely a good guide okay we can set a couple of sector corpses probably we're bound to get more soon just want to get a little bit i'm not going to go too far we could definitely set a bunch of these all right what's that going to give us 90 bucks 90 squillion supplies that's okay Okay, so let's go and have a look at that PCS chip. Hey, Commander. The uh, question is going to be who do we want to put it on? Uh, Dave might be a good choice because, as I was saying, she's our medic. Go and check out what it does first of all. So plus fourteen will. That is is good. Doesn't have another effect written there though. But um, let's read that. This implant ensures that the first killing blow in a mission will not lead to instant death and extends bleed out time by two turns. Okay, great. That is really powerful. That's so good. So that means that whoever's got this chip can take a, basically a fatal wound and then they will go into bleed out mode which we can revive them from using a med kit. So there's a reasonable argument there for putting that on the on the medic. But also, and I think this is probably the way we're going to go, is with hands being the scout, there are going to be times when he gets in real trouble. If he gets revealed and he's quite a way away from the squad with no backup, he could be in real trouble. So I think he's the perfect guy to have it. Yeah, and it also means that if he gets caught out, he's less likely to be mind controlled or have other kinds of psionics hit on him because he's got now 86 will, which is amazing. Nice, I'm liking it. Okay, let's push back on for the gorilla op. Got a few other things to do, like the Shen's last gift story mission, which we can come back to. And. Still one day away only. And we the Avatar project isn't too 
too far gone at the moment either, so keep on, keep on pushing. Oh, lovely. Famous last words. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move. Put somebody else back in that open slot now. All right, who are we going to go for? We really need a ranger, actually. I've forgotten that we didn't have any rangers. And I do want to get two of each different class. So we definitely want to build someone as a ranger. Erin, you want to. I want you to be next, but I'd quite like to get Ochiang Bakani trained up. It's a very somber looking classic green outfit. And I, yeah, I like Erin. So we're going to go Erin second and Ochiang. First, I think he wants to be a ranger, don't you, buddy? Nice. All right. Mm. Oh, a few rookies still need training up. There we go, ranger. Ten days. Okay, lovely. All right, let's push on. Oh, oh, I've not been look. I've not been looking forward to this. As you probably know, if you've been watching the series, the last time we had one of these, we got pretty badly crushed by the alien. Well, that's not true. I mean, we we took down loads of them, but we lost four people. Four people. So, we're going to leave it here now for part eight. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back very soon with part nine, where we hope not to get our asses handed to us by Advent. Thanks for watching.